this time with my brother who doesn't want to be in it. What's up? We're going to try the holiday drinks at Dunkin'. We're in the drive through I got my list. Hopefully they have them because in Alabama it doesn't they don't always have it yet. They ran out of all four flavors. We don't know that. We'll see. Do you promise you'll let it? Thank you for yes. the order, never you ready. Hi, can I get a small sugar plum macchiato? How about ice? Yeah, yeah, uh, iced. Anything else? Can I have a frozen coffee with gingerbread and a mint with hot fries? Small. And with what again, fries? A frozen coffee with gingerbread. With my whipped cream? No, thank you. Okay. And can I have a mint, a small mint hot chocolate? Okay. And a small gingerbread latte. How about ice? Hot. Anything else? No, thank you. Oh, wait. Okay. I like 1960 at the window. Thank you. Oh, I'm hungry. Why? I'm hungry, Miranda. You said you had food. I'm hungry. No, I literally said I wanted to get something. Why we? I have to put my mask on to get the order. Do I have to put mine on too? Technically. Just kidding, I could take. I got my, that's a needle I've stuck in somebody. For COVID vaccine? No, yeah, that's an IV needle. Oh, and you kept, and you kept it? I'm having, I didn't stick that one in, but that's a new one in case, so why? But you it? stuck in one, yeah, okay, so you stuck an IV needle this large or so. That's no bueno. I wonder if they realize this is for a YouTube video when I said all those. But this is also Alabama. Yeah, so they, probably, they probably don't even know. They probably don't even know there's a sponsorship going on. Hey, it's only thirteen sixty. Thank you. Here you go. Have a good day. Thank you. You're okay. Can I go to the gas station and get some food since you wouldn't let me order? Fine. We're gonna take a small mission so this one can go to the gas station. You said station. you said you're editing this. Why are you still talking to the camera? Stop doing that. <laughs> no, I'm fine. Go get you some food. So we got. Four holiday drinks from Duncan because Starbucks is far too expensive and we're in Alabama. So, we got four drinks. We will both try them. Well, I got from. Well, he got food, so he may not actually try them. He'll probably try them later. I'll try whichever one you say you like the best. So, I'm going to try this one because it's pretty. The Sugar Plum Macchiato. The one that everyone talks about. So, I'm going to try that one first. So it tastes like a regular iced coffee, but like it almost tastes like there's that great medicine in it. bad though. This will be my straw because COVID. Do you, usually, do you usually do your entire videos in one take? Uh-huh, because you edit them. Well, what I'm saying is if you're going to edit it, you, can you also like move the camera around? So that way you can edit in different like frames and shots and stuff? Try the sugar plum macchiato. I said I was going to only try the one that you thought was the best. No, that's not how this works. Try the sugar plum macchiato. 
Are you gonna make me? I don't want this video to be 40 minutes long, so just try it. Yeah, that's terrible. That is terrible. <laughs> we'll go with the hot one now. So, next one is the hot chocolate, the mint hot chocolate. I feel like you can't go wrong with hot chocolate. It tastes like Girl Scouts Thin Mint Cookies, but in a hot drink. No. Because COVID. Well, that's actually really good. Okay, then. That will be your drink, then. So, hot chocolate mocha for me, a, a five star scale, gets a four for me. How do you do a ten star scale. Okay, fine, ten star scale. Nine, nine out of ten stars for the mint hot chocolate. How many stars would you give it? Really? How many stars? I'll give it 14 and a half stars because I like it so much. Okay, Duncan. Out of 10. Okay, Duncan, you gotta sponsor him. Is that is that really a thing? They're gonna sponsor me if I give them like good re good, good reviews? I don't know. Oh. Possible. So, third drink is the frozen gingerbread coffee. No, it's no whipped cream because that's too much. I like this. It tastes like a gingerbread cookie. Like a real gingerbread cookie. Mm. Okay. Mm. That is different. And it does taste like a gingerbread cookie. 10 out of 10 stars for me. We're waiting. No, if you're gonna edit it, you can wait. I'm trying to decide, I'm trying to decide whether or not I wanna score it higher than you did or lower than you did. Cause I don't really like how it tastes. Like it's good, I just don't think it tastes good as a coffee. Okay. Yeah, so I'm gonna give it like four stars. Okay, that's fair. Team four star. And then last one is the gingerbread latte, which is a hot drink. This one just tastes like a regular hot coffee. So overpriced hot coffee. Not really. Dunkin's like their coffee, their small coffees are like two dollars. Oh. They got. Did you drink all that? No, that was, it was from the lid. No, oh, but man, I feel like they did you a little dirty. That's all they gave you, cause that's like a whole lot of extra cup. What do you think? I mean, probably. You should put that on camera. No, no, no. You gotta, you gotta get close to it. So, if we haven't even drank this yet, and it's all the way down there. That's like halfway down the cup. That's crazy. Don't put that in. Don't, don't we'll put, see. Don't put, no, don't put that in, because that's not halfway. That's. <laughs> He's the math person anyway. I don't know. I'm just. I'm just acting. I'm just acting a fool. Don't worry about me. Don't put that in. The title of this video is "Don't put that in." Miranda, you better let me watch this before you put it on on YouTube. And if I don't like something, 
You know, if it's one thing, you're gonna change it. You sound like those actors who have to have like 20 million of their demands met before they even no, have to work. no. You're not paying me for my time. <laughs> I didn't even know I was gonna be on video. You just broke out a camera. I so this is nothing like that. I got you free coffee. No, you gave me some sips of coffee. No, because that one, that one, the one you said you liked is going to be yours. I'm worth more than a cup of coffee, Miranda. <laughs> so how would you rate that coffee? I'm going to give it a 5 out of 10, only because it tastes like just regular coffee. I'm going to give it a 7, because yeah, it is like regular coffee, but it should always have a bit of sweetness to it. What flavor is that one again? This is the gingerbread latte. Gingerbread latte. That one did not taste like a gingerbread cookie like the other one did. But the sugar plum macchiato is probably, Garbage. That's probably my least favorite. And then the hot chocolate mint is in Absolute third gold. place. Third place for me. And then I think the gingerbread latte comes in second for me. And then the the ice gingerbread coffee comes in first for me. So, those two are yours, these two are mine. I'm not drinking both those coffees. Your mom or dad will. Speaking of mom and dad, what are we going to do now that we're done with the coffee challenge? Oh yeah, I'll go get them gifts. Yay! If anyone has any ideas what to get your 50 year old parents for Christmas, drop a comment down below. We have ideas, but not entirely sure. But, overall, I feel like this was a very successful challenge. At least for Duncan. Duncan didn't have very many options, but I like the holiday cups more than like Starbucks holiday cups. These are more festive and pretty. So, that wraps up the trying the Dunkin' Holiday Coffee Challenge. If you like this video, don't forget to give a like. Comment down below your favorite Dunkin' Holiday drink or Star Starbucks if you like Starbucks. Subscribe if you like this video and I will talk to y'all in another video. Maybe he'll, maybe he'll show up later. Nope. Bye. Bye.